Hey guys, so as a fun little experiment, I decided to start a vlog detailing what it's like working on a dinosaur park. Uh, the following is an account of half a week working in Jurassic New Park, and I hope you guys enjoy. So, the job for today, I believe, is I'm going to be setting up our new fossil dig area, which is where we got several plates that we're going to be putting into the ground, covering with a layer of sand. And we are going to be allowing kids to dig up their own fossils. There's a lot of um, Tyrannosaur bones coming out of this plate, like an embossed effect. So that's going to be pretty cool. Another exciting bit of information is that we also have a 3D printer. That we're hoping to get set up and we're going to start printing fossils to stick in that as well as little extra tidbits for kids to dig up. So it's going to be fun. However, before that could be dealt with, I had to deal with another issue, which was the case on a faulty T-Rex speaker for a Tyrannosaurus ride, which would turn out to be quite the challenge. Unfortunately, none of these boxes have labels, so I'm going to have to have a little look inside as a surprise. And what look to be absolutely enormous speakers, far bigger than the ones for our dinosaurs. So I'm not too sure what these are being used for yet. Okay, so couldn't find any speaker specifically labeled for the T-Rex ride that I need. However, I have found one that's just called Standby One. So, I'm hoping that this is going to work, it might take a bit of fiddling around, but if the T-Rex starts barking at me, I guess we'll know it's not the right one. Every time as I come into work, it goes through my head. Hello to you too. And no, for any of you alarmists out there, no, the donkeys are not there to feed the T-Rex. Don't be silly. But you know T-Rexes can't stand donkeys, they're there for the Carnotaurus. <laughs> Walked all the way down to the park before I realised I forgot the bloody plugs. Whoops. Alright, let's try this again. We're feeling this time. Do 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 Ah yes, nature's satellite dish. Majestic. What a noisy stationary T-Rex. Okay, so apparently the ghosts have possessed the dinosaur because that needs a specific button to turn on. Fun day here at the park. Okay, so just because there's no simple jobs in a dinosaur park, it turns out this is actually the wrong, I know, the wrong kind of end for this kind of speaker. So, I'm gonna have to see if I can find the correct plug. Or this is gonna be a really long job. Okay, so it turns out that none of the new speakers came with the correct type of connection, so we had to fish out this old one from God knows where. So, oh, come on, third time's a charm. This time we can do it, I swear. If it fails this time, I am literally throwing my hat at it. What the hell? All right, moment of truth. Oh, that's loud. Well, speaker didn't work out, so he's going to have to, for the moment, continue to be a continuously raucous dinosaur. So the speaker didn't work, my watch is after breaking, and an admittedly very nice lady asked me if I could grab her peacock feather from one of the enclosures, so now my hands are covered in bird shit as well. One of those days, I think. But let's face it, all things considered, it's 
not too bad. Okay, so speaker job was a bust. So today's job, thankfully, is just a bit of tidying, but also I just did a show for a group of people who work inside the hotel there. They brought their kids out. Uh, absolutely lovely show in the morning there. We got to show off some of the dinosaur fossils we have here, giving a bit of information about the dinosaurs we have. Uh, also, asking, <laughs> answering their questions. Uh, a lot of poop questions today. It's always the gross stuff that kids seem to love, but uh, dinosaur poop, indeed. Fascinating topic, I think they seem to think so. Also, I had a kid just come up to me telling me he wants to be a dino ranger now, just in the park. So, obviously doing something right anyway. Okay, I've just gotten word that our pteranodon actually might be ready to go up onto its zip line, which is really exciting. So, and then let's have a little look. I believe these guys were setting them up on a pole down near one of our biggest oak trees, um, halfway down the park. It's going to be like a pterodactyl tree. So we're going to have a couple of roosting in it, and then also our pteranodon soaring out of it over our heads. Pretty exciting. Hello, buddy. Okay, so we have a rough game plan of what we're doing. We're going to get this guy for the wire for him 12 foot off the ground so that he will hopefully be suspended nine foot in the air, swooping through the air with his wings moving. It's going to be pretty cool. Working with animatronics of varying sizes obviously means that we need machinery that can handle all this. And luckily with the intervention of a machine such as this loader, it meant that we were able to get the Pteranodon up safe and sound, and I can't wait to show you guys soon, in a future video. Okay, so it's a another lovely morning and the weekend has begun, so now we're going to be launching into four shows a day along with uh, plenty of other stuff open in the park. Our food shop is open. We also sell a few soft toys for kids as well. And uh, yeah, lots of activities going on. The rest of my rangers are gonna be here. So yeah, should be an interesting day. These are usually the, uh, the fun days. In the shadow of your ancient ancestors, our peacocks enjoying a nice morning stroll. And with the park nice and decently busy, it was time to put on some dinosaur fossil shows. A T-Rex and a set is what we call a carnivore. And hands up here if you can tell me what a carnivore eats. Yes, buddy. Meat. Exactly right. T-Rex was a meat-eating guy. Six foot bullwhip. Some of their tails, very grow. famous as gentle giants, which they were, still wouldn't want to mess with them. They could definitely and defend them for a very long time. There was only one fossil discovery of this dinosaur. Largest claw ever dug up. Now this is a life-size reconstruction of it. And it's one heck of a fingernail I can tell you See, guys. I'm actually gonna ask you guys a question. Oh, the claws are gonna... <laughs> So, after traumatizing some children, we set about performing some of our other duties, such as training some of our animals, like Billy the Goat, which, in all fairness to her, had a good degree of success, before trying to train the lads on the use of the whip, which had admittedly less success. It was time to finish up another day and another week at Jurassic New Park. So, it's been a lively week, and while some jobs like our Brachiosaurus there are Dear old speaker job didn't go to plan. There's been lots of good work done this week there. The shed for our new bouncy castle is coming along nicely and say hello to a stegosaurus. You can see the shed in the background. I try Ceratops is a bit silent for a moment there. Oh wake up soon though. But it's nice to take a walk around at the end of a busy week there. That was a little bit of a reward to myself. Especially on a lovely evening like this and See Billy here again, playing with some of your new toys, Billy, aren't you? Going over to say hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. Hello. 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 You're so smelly. But we love you. Don't we? I take it you're enjoying your new toys then, sir? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You become very tame. <laughs> Our Spinosaurus. Which I was very excited when just after I joined, I, hear, I heard we were getting one of these. He's nearly fully set up. I'm going to have him ready rather shortly. He'll be one of the dinosaurs that's ready next week. It's an absolutely magical place to be on an evening, not just for all the animatronics and all, but the amount of birds in the forest here around us. See, there's actually a large amount of swamp land just down from the park here. You can actually walk right alongside it there. There's only our fence dividing us from it. I think that the hotel might actually own it as well, which is exciting for future prospects. But down there, all sorts of bird life. I'm seeing lots of starlings and all coming in. Obviously, there's blackbirds. Um, tons of robins around the place, blue tits, grey tits, uh, wagtails, but also uh, recently I saw him. These are two of the biggest buzzards I've ever seen in my entire life flying around down here. When we were digging up a lot of the land here for um, the new fence and then the new dinosaurs, uh, we saw them coming into, into the park quite often, um, probably making use of the abundance of prey that was being stirred up by the work. And I love to see them here again i hope they do come back i haven't seen them in a couple of weeks now but they're probably down on the fen there there'll be lots of things for those guys to eat but there's also huge flocks of jackdaws around you can hear them in the trees around me here that's why i love coming down to this back corner of the park on, a, on an evening because they really get that evening chorus let's see if we can have a listen to it now And unfortunately, while it does kind of ruin the ambience of the place, this is a handy spot in the park to practice some of the whip cracking there because it's away from the hotel so I won't get any complaints about guests from the sonic cracks. Kind of a little bit more comfortable with the six foot whip now. It's a bit again used to the eight foot seem comparatively easy, but yes, this one's handling really nicely now. It's quite fun to show us, especially when you get that back up in there. <laughs> yeah, all the birds just for a second just go silent, but they never say quiet for long. And I think that is just about going to wrap it up for this week. So, fairly chill week here at the park, but nice busy weekend with some fun shows. You just hear Billy screaming in the background. He's loving his new toys. <laughs> but anyway, guys. So, I let me know if you've enjoyed this kind of um, vlog-type video. Obviously, I'll keep doing the, the informational videos, the more sciencey videos as well. But I just thought I'd try something different. Um, demonstrating what it's like to be a park ranger and Ireland's only dinosaur park. So let me know what you think of it, guys. And I hope you have an absolutely lovely week.